Have you ever had the need to allow LSD admin users to create and manage their own pages? My name is Bogdan and for the next few minutes I will present to you our new DNN page actions extension for action form that lets you do that. And you can set it up two ways. You can set up a form to let users directly create and uh, update their pages or you can set it up as a part of another workflow, for example, as part of the registration process. And I will start uh, with this simple scenario where you have forms that create and update pages and uh, you can actually see this on the DNN page actions extension in the demo which allows you to create a page um, as a visitor on the site. So I'll just create a page. And I will just give it a name. And now you see I already have a new page. I'm still not logged in, but I have a new page that was created for from a template. And it basically has other action form modules on it where I can create more sub pages or update the current page or um, specify permissions and even delete uh, this page. Now I will switch to a development instance where I can uh, show you some bits of pieces and uh, also how to set it up. So I will start with a new action for module. And you see, because I've installed this uh, page actions ex extension, I already have a few form templates. So I have the form to create page that you just saw uh, earlier on the demo site, and also to delete pages, update pages, update permissions, and others. So I will start with a uh, create page form. And here is basically a standard form like uh, you do in action form with uh, various fields. What's interesting about this form is that when the button is clicked, so the create page button, there is an action that wires all the fields using their uh, bracket notation to um, page data. So when the new page is created, it will take the page name from the name field, the page title from the title field, and so on. But you are not restricted to this. You can uh, basically give your own data here or use my tokens. For example, I don't want uh, the description to take from the form. I'll just write, this is a page created from or by the user. Okay. So what happens here is that now I'm not using the description field anymore, which was this one. Instead, I'm hard coding the description. So you are free to wire the fields as, you, as you, your application needs it. And uh, finally, take a look at the permission. We have a permission grid control that basically uh, lets you lo load a list of roles uh, that need to exist on the portal and then lets you load a list of permissions and this you are free to define yourself. And then you can uh, map you can load, for example, here. I'm uh, I'm uh, updating the view permission of the page. So this is the create page actions with the view permission from the grid. But I could have given any name in the grid. I could have said view for view uh, for page, for example. It doesn't matter what, what name I give there, as long as I map it to a, an, an existing uh, view permission here. And using this technique, you can actually have a permission grid and wire different permission to different pages or even modules. So that's how the create page uh, form works. But now what I want to show you, and I will go back and add a start with a new one, with a new form. What I want to show you is how to use this action as part of uh, a workflow, let's say as part of user registration. So I'll just delete this form and start with a new one. And I will start from the existing a, um, registration form that comes with action form. Registration form. Okay, so what I will do as part of the registration, you see I have a user registration and then the user profile is updated and then the user is logged in. 
and after that I want to also create a page for the user so I will go into add action DNN create page and I'll create a new page and I will give it I will give it a name let's say for user and here I can use a token user double current username and this basically pulls the username of current user which after this login action was executed now exists in the context otherwise if I didn't do the login because it's a new user just registering I wouldn't have access to this yet and actually I think it would be um, accessible through a different token but I would not go into that now anyways so I just give it a name and I let's say I don't care about the rest just the template I need I'm required to give it a template the parent page I will just uh, li um, maybe no I will give it this uh, current page so it's created under, under this page okay and one more thing I will need to give the permission the view permission at least to the uh, let's say registered user so I can see it with the new user I will create a new user that will be a registered user and I need to have access to view that page otherwise it will say access denied okay and one more thing I want to store the URL to the new page I want to store it in a token so I can issue a redirect to it so let's say user page URL so the after the page is created it's stored into, into this token and I can issue a redirect to URL and take advantage of this token that was created for me okay so I will just save this log out and come in come as a another user and complete the registration so work so let's say I'm user Dimitre at dimma.com dim okay so I'm registering now and you see I am uh, I have been automatically logged in as user demo 003 and then I am redirected to a new page called for use demo demo 003 so I'm on this page that was uh, created by this action that comes with, with this page action constraint okay so this is it what I can do now I can also show you uh, other uh, actions that come with the extension that basically let you do more stuff with this um, with uh, with the uh, page management so let's say that I also want to update this page so I will add another module to this newly created page and I will start with a uh, update page and here you will see that I already have all the fields for the form I have the update page button that basically uses the update page action that does about the same thing it maps the form fields to page to page uh, data and what's mm, interesting here to show you is the load page action that happens on the init, init event so you want when to open when, when the form opens you want it to already be populated with the existing data and this is what the load page action does it loads um, page data into tokens and here for example I loaded the page name into the name token and because this is the same as the name of the field it will be stored into into this um, field otherwise if I had given a different name here which is totally possible so I could say here let's say page name but then it will not load automatically into this name field because they don't have the same name anymore but still I could just say that uh, the initial value is page name and use the break in notification to to, to trigger the replacement okay so because they have different name they, they it doesn't have the name anymore I can still use it as the initial value but to keep it simple I just uh, use the field names okay so let me also show you this real quick so you see I have a, a form here the page is already populated I can change it to 4 
I can update it and you see now it says for use demo 004 and I could also lock myself out by taking only register user role uh, but this in this case I'm a super user so it doesn't really matter so you see how this uh, unlocks some very interesting possibilities that were previously not possible in DNN or you'd have to do all this work manually and I only scratch the surface of, of what can be done with these uh, actions in this video. Uh, thank you for your time and for using our DNN chat module.